I'm Kim Castro, your painting instructor. Today we're excited to start another brand new painting. So let's get started. Get your brushes out, your paint, your easel, and this is the one we're going to do today. So let's sit down, relax, and have fun doing it. Just kind of move it around. Real quick, you can't be wasting any time with it at all. you got to make it quick. In fact, it probably wouldn't even hurt if you even sprayed a little bit. So it'll stay wet longer. Very easy. Just missed it. Yeah, you see that gives it a nice little effect there too. Paint that right in there. Let me know if you like this background. <laughs> I'll be interested to know. I'm not sure I do yet. I won't be sure until I actually do the whole painting. Then I can tell better. You may like it. Sometimes they gotta grow on you a little bit. I may add some more color here and there. I may actually take and put some more umber in. A little bit of spots here and there. Something like that. A lot of paint in there now. More umber down here maybe. Like so. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just add it in. Yeah, I like kind of like that better. I like the fact that we're getting some brown to show through there, some greens and blue, and all that stuff. Nice little variety of paint. That's thickened it up some and give us a nice little base for it. If you really wanted to, you could use a, a mop brush now that it's still wet. And you could just go over it a little gently. Just like that. Smooth things out a little bit. Like that. Although I think it's still a bit thin for that, but I see some spots that ain't quite thick enough for the mop yet. The green over here, why not? The green up here, why not? More green here. Maybe some more here. And give it that little bit of a glow around her head, maybe. On this side, anyway. But you can pick whatever color you want to, you know, whatever picture you're doing. You can, it takes just uh, practice. and It's hard for me to decide on a background a lot of times. It's just. You know, it's kind of a, one of them puzzling things sometimes. You're just almost afraid to try something because you don't want to ruin your picture. But you just got to bite the bullet and do it. Yeah, that was pretty good. I like it anyway. I don't know if you all do, but I think it looks pretty nice. Maybe a little bit lighter spot in here. Why not? Why not? Okay, now by the time we 
um, do her hair. Her hair is going to be really light and lighter color, so it's going to really make it stand out a lot. What do you think? Get this brown here and the blue and green and blue make brown, so we're all in the same color scheme pretty much. So, it should all kind of balance out. All right, all right, we'll just stop playing with that now. Wash this brush. Okay, we're going to work on the hair some now, and uh, first thing we want to do is I'm going to get a little bit of this, I guess, some burnt umber with, mixed with a little bit of uh, Payne's Gray, and I'm going to go ahead and get some of these darker areas with that. Even though we've got dark over here already, we're going to hit some of them grayer areas. Let's cut that umber right now too. Right in here. And just hit some of these little areas out of that grayer color. And some of this will actually be under some of the other strands. So if you kind of look, you're looking behind them a little bit. see about where that's going to be. We've got some more on the face to do, I know, but I'm not going to go too far into the face with you all right now because this is really just to get you guys started on how to do it, so I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'll probably finish it myself, but um, it won't be on all camera because people seem to be getting too bored when I post too long of a, a video because they're not watching them all. So we're getting some of the gray in here. You should keep plenty of water in that. You don't want it to be too thick. Some darker areas up around this black up here. Darker. And some up in here. I'm just roughly getting it about where it goes. And you won't get it perfect, so don't try to get it perfect because you're not going to, it's just not going to happen. Just don't happen. It's just about impossible to get every strand of hair. The main thing you want to do is get the, uh, basically the illusion of where the hair is. In the basic general shape of it. So now we'll go ahead and clean the brush and we'll go into this darker umber, which I just mixed a little bit of this Naples yellow and white with. And we're going to try to see where, if this is dark enough, and it may not be, and I don't think it is. So we'll go right into the pure umber and let's see if we can get some of that, get some of them areas with the umber.
really isn't that many areas with the number, but a few, there's a few. By a face here, it seems to be a bit of an area. Here, right down there, and over here a little bit, there's a little bit. Actually, a lighter number. And I'm going to wash my brush again. And then I'm going to take some of the lighter number. And what I'm going to, I'm going to attempt this. I just got this brush, it's a hair brush. And you can see the little different lengths of the hair right there. We're going to give it a shot and see what we get. I'm not sure, but we'll find out. So first, I think we'll try to get a little bit of this lighter color. And we'll start right over here, maybe. I don't know. This, one, this brush even scares me. So we'll just take and see what happens. Right down, and then right there, out right here. This strand comes down first, actually. This strand comes down here. I'm not too sure I like this brush, but it's actually fur. Doing fur with two. We'll see. We shall see. Wait a little bit. We'll come up over here. I do believe we'll have to start right here. Yes, I'm not trying to get every little bit. I'm just trying to basically get the shape of the hair in what belongs. I can see right now I'm probably going to go to a, a regular brush. But I wanted to try it. That's how you learn. Okay. Now that we've experimented with this brush, we can wash it and grab a regular brush. <laughs> So what I'm going to go with this time is a uh, probably this one, number four round. And we're going to get some paint here. I'm going to start with this lighter color. And I'm going to start here. Just going to go around. Thank 
coming over that with some lighter color here. I just want to bring this down a little bit. Just wet. I really don't have much brown in here, but a little bit. Just a little. Very, very light, a light bit of brown, very light. That's why I got the water will help with that. Just a kind of fill in and darken that light, that lighter area up a little bit. Come over here. I don't know what's going to be done with that. Can I do that? It's definitely a lot browner here in that area. All the way down into here. And it's kind of coming down here. It actually looks like there's some a tiny bit of a pinkish color in it. If you all really look at it really closely, you might see it. And I'm just going to come on that lightly just to dim that down. That maple yellow is pretty bright. Pretty bright. Now I'm going to take a tiny bit of green, tiny little bit, and I'm going to add it to this maple yellow over here. With some water. Tiny little bit. And as you can see, we got some greener tints up in here. And then we got to have a little bit more green than that even. To go over the line, doesn't matter, we'll be doing, you'll have to touch up the background anyway, I guarantee you. And that, There's some green coming in here. More water. Trying to keep it straight as I can. Just kind of blend it in a little bit with this. A lot. Let me get some green coming down here. Yeah, I doubt. And what we got over here? We got a little bit of green over here. Not a whole lot, but we got some. A little bit right here. And it's definitely coming in over here. A little bit darker over here. Seems like. Right. You put some water in your brush, you can make that get some stronger lines, so to speak. And there was a little bit of green up in here. Not much, a little bit. A little darken that up some more. Now we'll take this uh, 
that's in this yellow to this burnt sienna. Let's see if we can find something to kind of match that a little bit better. Maybe some umber. Lots of water. I don't want it to be on here too thick, so I'm going to wipe it off a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and start trying to do some better lines in here with the highlight. Try to find some of them strands of hair that are there. So I'm not doing too well at it at the moment. There. This one will come out from here. green. Down a little bit more. And down over here for more. Now you can play with this hair for literally hours. And we won't do that today. If I was doing a commission, we're doing it for someone, well, yeah, but I'd be doing a lot more to it without a doubt. darker in here. Here. Turn that down a little bit more. Now this is far from perfect or what I would consider done. But this is just to give you a general idea of how to get started, how to get going on doing portraits. Like I said, I'm not an expert on portraits, 
by far. I've always wanted to do a lot more portraits, but just the opportunity just never came along. It should be lighter, not darker. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to kind of blend it a little bit by taking a wet brush. I'm going to make sure it's nice and wet and damp. I don't want it to be soaking wet. But then I'm going to just take and try to blend these in together just very, very lightly. Just blend them a little bit. Just like that. Get rid of all them little lines and whatever and stuff. And make sure the paint is filling up the canvas where the hair is. Go outside it, don't worry about it. Like I said, this is by far not a completed portrait. But hopefully it's enough to help you get started and encourage you to start doing portraits. I'd really like to do a full one with you all. But uh, like I said, until you know, people really are not really watching the whole thing, so I don't want to make them too long. I don't want to bore anybody with the details and whatnot. So, main thing is to get you guys interested in doing it and doing these portraits and landscapes and whatever else, and then we'll go from there. Okay, she's not perfect, that's for sure, but it's, she's not coming out too awful bad. A lot more I'd like to do to her, and I probably will off camera. I will definitely be doing some more in the background here too, and on the face, most likely. But you all, I hope you all enjoyed this, and please leave some comments and share it with other people. And, and uh, above all, you all consider joining my Patreon. I definitely could use some help with the getting the paints and stuff like that, and canvas and stuff. This stuff's pretty expensive stuff, so anything would be a big help, that's for sure. It's not much, it's only a dollar a month. But it does help. By a long shot. My style of doing portraits is probably not much as like anybody else's, but I'm a self taught artist, so this is how I learned how to do it. And I hope you all enjoyed it. And well, learn something from it. Until the next time, have a good day and uh, have a good night.